All right, family. Let's get ready to jump right into scripture. I want you to join me at Romans 12. I just had it. And one. 12 and one. 12 and one. Romans 12 and one. I'm reading from the ESV. And the word of God reads, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Amen. Wow, that's powerful. <laughs> and I believe it speaks for itself. Amen. I believe that that does not need explanation. Okay, we can worship God with our temple. How do we treat our bodies? It's a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. It's a form of worship. Amen. All right, the next one, we're going to go to the book of Galatians. Join me at Galatians 5 and starting at 19 through 26. Galatians 5 and 19 through 26. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexually immoral, immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. 22 says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. 24 says, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with the passions, with its passions and desires. 25 says, if we live by the Spirit, let us also keep in step with the Spirit. And 26 says, let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Amen. Wow. I know that's a mouthful, but it truly is a key. It's key information for us to know what keeps us under the covering of the fruit of the Spirit of God. That's where we want to be. It's just that simple. Amen. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. I pray that you will continue to meditate on that word and that you will also spend some time with the Lord. As you meditate on that word and allow him to speak to you. Amen. And so on tonight, my testimony is very short, <laughs> but very truthful. I have to praise the Lord right here, right now, and thank him for allowing me another day to come on and submit this video. To come on in day four four days in, amen, to speak to those who have time to come in, for those who might just be scrolling on through YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, and you've come to this place, to this video, and that it's just what you need. It's the prayer that you needed. It's the worship and praise that you needed, and that it's the scripture that you needed, that you've been waiting for a move of God, waiting to hear from God. And I believe this is the day that you were supposed to come on and get just what you've been asking God to give you. Amen. And so my testimony today is that through it all, through all the warfare, <laughs> it's mind-blowing, but it's not too big for God. It's nothing, nothing major to God. So guess what? That's where I get my rest. That's where I get my Sabbath rest, right there, knowing that God is able 
and that he can overcome any obstacle that should ever come our way because the battle has already been won. And so on this evening or this morning, whatever time of day it is for you, I pray that you are blessed and I pray that you will continue on this journey with me. Subscribe, please subscribe and like this video and share it if you feel that it is worthy for someone else to be able to connect through prayer, praise and worship and the scripture through the word of God. Amen. Listen, it's been really great. I just, I, I don't know. I'm just overwhelmed with joy that God continues to allow a way to make sure that this message gets out, that his word gets out to the body of Christ. Until tomorrow, I have to say it. Day four is in the books, baby. Until next time, until tomorrow, I'll see you soon. Peace.